This is a story about a garage sale I went to. It's actually about two chairs that I bought at the garage sale. They were covered in a reddish brown naga hide that I didn't care much for. I decided there was probably something more attractive underneath. And so I began to pry up all of the staples, and nails, and tacks. There were hundreds of them. There was bound to be something hidden underneath that I would have liked better. And I was right. There was a interesting looking pattern just from the bottom. When I turned it over, it looked like something that would have been in Yoko Ono's house. I would have been content to keep it that way. It looked like something my friend Becky would like as well. But I couldn't stop. I had to keep going. I know there was something else under there and I had to see what it was. I should have stopped. I was wildly disappointed by the next fabric that was underneath. It didn't look so bad from the bottom, but when I turned it over, I felt a sudden sickness overwhelm me. It was one of the ugliest patterns I'd ever seen. I had nothing to lose. I turned the chair over one last time and I began to investigate. More messy, sharp tacks. More tiny little nails. And there were more surprises. When I pulled it away, I was surprised by a bright orange fabric. I pulled all the tacks out before I turned it over. I didn't cheat. Once I got every single staple and nail out of the bottom of that chair, a bunch of stripes jumped out at me. The chairs uh, have a happy new home, and they fit in perfectly with the rest of my house. It has been said, by plucking her petals, you do not gather the beauty of the flower. I would like to add, by stripping upholstery away from a chair, that is a different thing. <laughs>